All right, welcome back to the show. It's about to get even more interesting now. We have former Super Falcons captain and uh, Super Falcons uh, striker as well. It was part of the uh, African Women's Cup of Nations winning squad in 2010, 2014, 2016, and 2018. And she was a captain of the Super Falcons to so the FIFA Women's World Cup in 2019 in France. I'm not sure she has announced her retirement from the Falcons just yet because she was part of the Aisha Buari Cup in 2021. Am I correct? Yeah, of course, she was there as well. Desire Paranose, let's talk about football for you. Um, how did you get to, I mean, many Nigerians remember that you were part of the, that golden generation of Falcons in 2010. But how has football been for you? How did you get into the game? And how has football given you a voice as a woman? Well, I mean, football, it's been great. This is something I've done all my life. And, um, you know, it gives you sports generally gives you some sort of visibility, confidence. You know, as an African woman, woman uh, you know, the stereotype in Africa around here where they believe a, f a female child shouldn't be in sports or play football and all of that. But with sports, it gives you some level of confidence and, you know, gives you a voice, visibility and all of that. And for me, uh, what football have done for me is incredibly, like, there's, for lack of a better word, it's, it's amazing, really. Mm. This is what I, I know. I, I've always known football all my life and... Um, I don't know. It's it's been great. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. It's yeah. been great. Let's revisit your um, time in the Falcons. You you have you, we'll still ask you whether you've retired from national team football or you want to focus your club career. For many, you've achieved what any player can dream to achieve in international football. Played at different World Cups. I think three World Cups, and mm -hmm. uh, you've won the Nations Cup. But let's talk about your time in the Falcons after the 2019 World Cup. There were reports that you fell out with the management of uh, the football federation management. What really happened? Can you put the record straight? What happened after that 2019 FIFA World Cup? Well, uh, I think um, it was just misunderstanding, you know, between the federation and myself being, you know, the, the captain of the team and all of that. So, you know, we, we had some backlogs of, of unpaid wages and all of that. And um, for whatever reason... It doesn't. It, it didn't sit well with the powers that be and all of that, and um, we fell out. And you, you know the story. So that that was that about that. And but then again, 2019, you know, we 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 made up and kissed and all of that. So I got back into the team. So right now I'm still very much active. And uh, though last year, due to border restrictions in China, I wasn't able to, make you know, the, yeah, make any of the, the campaigns and all come. of that. Yeah. Mm. So, well, I haven't. I'm still very much active, and um, yeah, I'm still playing for now. Let's talk about the team. The team went to the Women's Afcon in Morocco, and uh, they had a below par performance by the standards that the Falcons are known for. They lost to South Africa lost to uh, Morocco and Zambia in a single tournament. What do you think went wrong with the team? Well, um, I would say, you know, this team, it, since uh, the appointment of uh, Randy, um, is from, I've met with him, I was part of the Aisha Buhari team. That was, uh, that was the first time I... No, no, no. The first time was in Austria when we played a friendly. We had a camp in there in Austria. And, you know, I, I sat down with him. I had a conversation with him about way forward, what he intended to do with the team and all of that. And uh, what I, from what I understood, he, he's trying to build a team. Like, if you see the company, we have a combination of fresh and younger uh, players, you know, combined with a few other old legs. So he's trying to build a team, and and it's not easy. You know, building a new team is not easy. It takes time. We, we need to be patient with him, you know. And coupled with the fact that other African teams are coming up as well, you know, they've invested in their teams. Look at the likes of Morocco. Look at South Africa, mm -hmm. for example, you know. So, and this Morocco and South Africa now, for example, they've been... You know, they've invested in their teams for, for a couple of years now, you know, and th this is the results they get, you know, when you, when you have invested. And that's, they are now reaping the, the, the fruit. And to, to, I mean, we should, um, 
you know, be patient with this team. That's what I would say because they, their performance wasn't entirely, you know, At bad. least they picked yeah, the walk-up yeah, walk ticket. You know, because we Nigerians, we are very impatient. We want, we want what we want. But these things, it takes time. It's a process and all of that. So I think we need to be more patient with this team and, and give us the benefit of the doubt that we're going to bounce back. You know, the past glory and everything, they want us to win, win, win all the time. Mm -hmm. But we, shouldn't always, we should also remember that other teams are, you know, walking behind the scenes and all of that. So it's, it's, a, it's like, um, like this team... What Randy is trying to do, I, I kind of understand. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. You've, I mean, you've spoken as a leader. Mm. I mean, and you've backed the team, which is mm -hmm. expected as a leader of the team. Uh, whether you're part of the last squad or not, you still remain a leader of um, the Falcons in any capacity. Now, let's look at the future of the World Cup. Nigeria have a tough group. Yeah. Uh, in Australia, New Zealand, we have and a Canada. very, very tough group. We group with the Canada. host, yeah. you know, we group with Canada, who are the Olympic champions. Mm -hmm. We have Ireland. How, we have Ireland in yeah. that one as well. Mm -hmm. How do we pr pr prepare for this one? The FIFA Women's World Cup. It's just about uh, six, seven months from now? Yeah, it's uh, July, between July and August, I think. Yeah. Well, the team have been preparing since, you know, since after the Nations Cup. And we, we, they also use the Nations Cup as preparation and you know, and after that, there has been a couple of, you know, friendly games and campaigns and all of that. And and uh, so far, so and, and I think there is projection for another regrouping next month as well. So it will, you know, give the team time to continue to work hard and prepare for, for, for the tournament. And I I believe with the... With, now, like, it's the world stage. Nigeria is not the only African team there mm. we have other african teams too who are going there to represent the whole of africa and all mm. of that so it doesn't just boil down to only nigeria so we are going there to represent africa and i, I believe that with the preparation on ground and everything will you know we'll try to yeah well. try to maybe yeah, do what yeah. morocco did in the men's walk of course you never know it could <laughs> be our for, for the records nigeria super our, falcons yeah. are the team from Africa who have gone the farthest yeah. at World Cup, and that mm -hmm. dates back to 1999 when we mm -hmm. made it to the quarterfinal. Mm -hmm. So let's hope that this current generation, basking with a lot of experience yeah. and youthfulness, will do well. Uh, let's talk about you personally now. You're presently playing in China. How's the Chinese Women's Super League treating you? Uh, most Nigerians remember your time at Gigong. That's yeah. in France where you were yeah. painting everywhere with goals. Yeah. But is, is China giving you that confidence that you're still very, very much active and ready to keep banging the goals? Yeah, you know, this past year was my first season. It was difficult at the beginning. I got into China and um, I had to, you know, integrate. I had difficulties with language, food, co couple with the, the, the most times, like, there were times we have to deal with lockdown and everything, no freedom to move around and all of that. You know, coming from Europe where you have your freedom and then going into another country where it's totally different culture and everything. So it, it was kind of difficult, but somehow I found my feet. But it took time, though, you know. Mm -hmm. But towards the uh, second phase of the league, I, you know, I picked up and I, I integrated really good. So now we're about to start the second season and um, hopefully... So you're, you're, you're more at home now? Yeah, yeah. You've picked yeah, some yeah, one or two yeah, Chinese yeah, languages? Yeah, like <laughs> but that. is that, I mean, you're 29, yeah. you still, I mean, for women's football, that's a relatively very young age. Mm -hmm. I was seen some women's footballer who've played into their late 30s and all that. Any plans for you to return to Europe at some point? Yeah, yeah, that's on the table. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. We'd love to see you back in Europe, especially now that the European Women's Champions League is gaining some media yeah. Attention, I want to see you back doing what you know how to do best. Of we must really say a big thank you and wish you all the very best. Former Super Falcons captain, Desire of Parai Nose. I mean, a lot of people saw you here and they can't really recognize you because, I mean, when we yeah. saw you on the pitch, you're always lively, energetic, and I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, contrast to your very calm nature here now. <laughs> well, <laughs> and of course, uh, well. Apart from playing football, yeah, I've also been busy with all that stuff as well. Like, I, I have a branded perfume in my name now, so okay. I'm, I'm 
trying to like bring it into to do something the aside from, yeah. Yeah. from from football. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of well, course, you could check out on our social media pages. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, um, Desire is very much active on the social media pages. You could interact mm -hmm. with her and get to celebrate one of Nigeria's very best female footballers of all time.